Hi guys, uh, welcome back. So tonight we're going to tie a, I suppose a sea trout fly. Uh, so a teal blue and silver. Uh, so this is Camazan's, uh, this is actually a size 8. Um, but tie what suits yourself. So we're going to use black thread. Take that down the body. I tend to snap it off so that it leaves it much neater. So, uh, tail is golden pheasant uh, tippet. So I've taken a tippet feather here and I've taken the center out of it. And I don't need all this, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to display a certain amount of it back. And if this is a central tippet, then it'll line up these tips for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that on the top. Put on a couple of looseish wraps. And then I'm just going to pull that through. But it has just gone off the stalk now, so you choose the length of your tail basically. So, and the fact that it's under the the wraps of thread means I can control it from splaying out. So, up yourself how long you want this to be. I might say probably the body length roughly. Then we'll just tighten into that. And that should give us a nice, neat tail. Now this bit that we're left with, we're going to cut this off now. And the bit that we're left with, put them together, we can use that for our next tail if we're tying several of the same fly. So we'll just hold those fibres down, tie them down to the front. Uh, and then I'm going to put in a rib here of silver wire. So tie that in. couple of wraps are actually going to go onto the tail again and should keep it uh, more in control. So, um, body, uh, silver as its name suggests, so I'm going to use one of these, uh, it's a uni I think, uh, and I'm going to tie it with the gold side pointing towards me, it's the silver point side is pointing towards you. that when I start to wrap, the silver will actually be the side that comes over. So, once I have that in place, I'll just put a bit of varnish on the body. And then we'll start to wrap. Now, this is actually a wide one. A little bit of tension and hopefully the hook doesn't slip on me. And I'm sort of overlapping by half here as I go. The other option would have been to have tied this in at the front went down the shank and then come back up again. So whatever suits you best. Once we get down here, put a turn across it, fold it back on itself. A couple of turns over just to secure that. Make that off. Okay. So now we'll rib the body with our silver rib. And the reason I chose wire is because the wire seems to stay better uh, on tinsel bodies than ovals do. Ovals tend to slide about quite a bit on it. So get to the front here, a bit of tension into it, turn across it, fold it straight, tie that forward, and then we'll just wiggle our wire back in front until it snaps off. That saves you wrecking your scissors cutting it. So next we're going to take a sort of a teal blue hackle. This is a cock hackle, although you could also use uh, a soft hackle or a hen hackle. Uh, and you can also tie in a throat if you want, you know, like a fake beard type. With a bunch of hackle or a, even fur I suppose would do. Double the hackle and said I have a tutorial on that in my flight hand techniques if you want to look it up. So I've tied that in, folded back on itself, and now we'll wrap that blue hackle. I just 
just use my fingers to pinch and sort of guide the hackle as I wrap it on for shape. Now it's up to yourself how heavy you want the fly dressed. I'll tie that in, hold the stock back and a few turns on it. Secure it. it for shape. Some people will then take this bit off um, again, that's up to yourself. So, now what we're going to do is put on the teal wing. I'm going to take a teal breast feather. seen uh, like two slips being put on before uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to try and put on similar to how we did the tail of this fly actually um, I'm going to nip out the stalk center of it at roughly the length that I want the wing to be because I don't actually want to be tying on stalk I'm going to pull this off and we're going to set that up on top just fold over almost like you were doing a dabbler wing, a couple of turns, and then I'm going to pull that through itself until the stock part just slips off, and then the wings I'll continue to pull until I get the length that suits me. Well, that's a slim wing. If we want to double that up I'd just do the same, repeat the same again with another another feather. So I'm going to have the length put on. We just bind it down. Look for another one. this as heavy or as lightly dressed as you want. Pull, once those are in place, pull them down until they're the same length as the feather that went underneath. And that's how you'd put on a double set to it. Anything that sort of gets out of whack, out of position, we just trim it off. So we'll just tighten up the head. Trim off these tag ends and then we'll neaten the head to finish it. And varnish. Use a clear varnish. And that is our teal blue and silver. Uh, I said very famous and effective sea trout fly. Uh, so, as per usual, if you liked what you've seen, uh, use the like buttons, the subscribe buttons, tell your friends, uh, and uh, until next time, tight lines and Thanks for watching.